My name is DJ Rowitzer. I am the executive chef for the Bryant Rake restaurant group. Uh, today we're at the Third Bird in Loring Park. Uh, this restaurant has been open for about a year and a half and you know, we really focus on singular ingredients and the uh, shareable dining experience. Sustainable seafood is important to the Third Bird um, because it um, falls in line with our beliefs, our morals in this restaurant. Um, sustainability is uh, important because it uh, ensures that it's going to continue to, to, to keep moving forward opposed to just a short-term solution. Um, personally, uh, sustainable seafood and sustainability is important to me um, because I feel it's a healthier way to live. Um, it's healthier for all parties involved. Um, I have children and you know I'd like them to enjoy some of the same things that I've had the pleasure of of working with and vegetables, gardens, fish, all that stuff. So our, our idea of sustainability is um, you know, many things. Rule one, keeping your doors open. Two, um, having a healthy um, economic structure, having healthy farms, soil, oceans. Um, in regards to fish, it's um, you know, a matter of looking at it from a holistic approach. Um, and the stock levels of fish, where they're coming from, how far they're traveling, um, you know, and back to the stock level, where are they? You know, are they a prehistoric fish that's on the brink of ex extinction, or are they something that's, uh, you know, for lack of a better term, sustainable? And in that situation, um, we'll we'll take a look at it. We'll take a look at who's fishing it, how they're fishing it. Um, you know, to ensure that it is a sustainable method and it's not just a bunch of hot air coming from the you know, fish, man, fish companies or whatever. So I think there's a lot of things that are good that are happening, you know, uh, restaurants, but uh, you know, more importantly, uh, Fish Smart program that uh, works, in my opinion, as stewards of um, the local um, chef community and consumer community and uh, works as a liaison between uh, known sustainable fishing practices and the consumer um, to help make educated guesses and just an overall education of the public as to where their food's coming from and um, I guess most importantly how they're spending their money and what they're putting in their body. You know, the Minnesota Zoo program is important because it's, it's local and it's um, you know any of the chefs are um, with the right connections. Anyone can basically pick up a phone and, and, and ask questions and say, you know, I have questions about this. Where is this coming from? Is this sustainable? Some people say it is. Some people say it's not. So I think it's a valuable resource, um, more on a local level.